Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can create wall on edge using sketch based feature in the generative shape sheet metal design workbench in KTMA5. So to start off I'm going to open up generative sheet metal design workbench and I'll uh, create a wall first. So before that I'll, sh I'll set the sheet metal parameters which I have explained in my previous videos. create a base sketch for my wall now my wall is ready and I'm going to create a wall on edge using sketch base feature so to open up a wall on edge you have two methods one is by opening up the walls toolbar here so we have the wall on edge over here or else go to insert walls wall on edge so once you're on this option you need to switch to the sketch based feature because the automatic feature is already being discussed so a sketch based feature and you're supposed to select the edge where you're going to create the wall once that is selected we need to click on this particular sketch option and select the face where you are gonna give a sketch now specify the kind of wall that you need to use in this particular case to understand the flexibility of this particular option I'm going to create two different kind of profiles an ellipse and here I'm going to use a circle so once I'll come out of the sketch as you can see the sheet metal component is being created using the sketch which is being created here and you have a couple of options like uh, changing the angle and all that so if you reverse the position here what happens is the sheet metal component takes the shape of the sketch which is sketched on the uh, top portion and if you give the reverse position you are getting the sketch according to the sheet metal component according to the lower portion of the sketch so you have a couple of options here like changing the angle so that's how uh, sketch based feature works in the uh, generative sheet metal design in KCMV5 so you have uh, an another option which I wanted to show you which is uh, without the bend so once you're opening up the without bend option what happens is it completely takes the complete sketch without the bend so it's going to be another sheet metal component uh, without the bend option <coughs> and you have the clearance which I have discussed in my uh, previous videos where it it uh, separates its uh, base sheet metal with a particular distance and it has a bidirectional method also where you can give bidirectional uh, you know uh, bidirectional value for uh, the clearance so as you can see here and when I'm reversing the position it goes up and down here with the values uh, coming exponentially so this is how you can work with the wall on edge with this sketch based feature. I hope uh, this video is going to help you in your sheet metal design uh, designing process and projects. I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, comment on my video and let me know what kind of doubts you face. Thank you so much for watching.